Hey lovelies, it's Kat here. Today we are going to be crocheting letters into a blanket. It's actually very simple to do and if you have the right blanket then you will get a perfect result. For this project you'll need your blanket or piece of material, a contrasting colour yarn, a crochet hook, this is four millimetres if you're using DK yarn, and a template which is completely optional but I've drawn out here exactly how you would like it to lay. So first of all we're going to take the hook and pop it through where you want to start. Grab some yarn with your hook and then pull it through that stitch. So you're going to pull up a loop coming up above your blanket. You've got one loop on your hook now, then you are going to go to the next stitch along. I'm going to pop my hook into the material. Grab another piece of the working yarn, pull that up as well, and then you'll have two loops on your hook. That one that you've just pulled through you want to pull that through your original loop. That is your first slip stitch and that is what you're going to be doing all the way along. So I just went along, so with the A, if it's a straight line, that's quite easy because you can just follow the stitches. Then I went down and did the loop of the A. I will show you a mistake here and it's really easy to actually correct your mistakes with this method because you can just pull out the stitches that you didn't like and then start again. I actually had to go upside down a couple of times because when I crochet I wanted to kind of like keep the tension on my finger so I put it upside down but you don't have to do this you can actually you can keep it upright and then move your crochet hook round so it's kind of like needle felting where you push the needle through to the back it's just with your crochet hook instead one thing I would say is that if you're changing direction sometimes you want to completely cast off the yarn so this is what I did when I got to the small a I didn't want to go back on myself too much so I actually ended up casting off where the V went up towards the A. I cast it off there and then just tied a little really neat knot in the back. And then I started again where the curve of the A starts. So then I just started with the same technique on the last A as I did with the first A. When I got to the end of the word, I just pulled the loop completely up. So it was completely like through the front of the material. And then I just got my darning needle and thread it through a couple of times. And then I would take it through to the back and just made sure it was secure at the back and then tied a little knot. I know some people don't like to tie knots in their work, but I just, <laughs> just for safety, I like to do that, especially if it's a baby blanket. You never know where that might go and how many times it might have to be washed. So there we go, our lovely personalised blanket, perfect for a new baby gift. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like these sort of techniques, there's another video here on how to put a monogram on the front of a baby sweater, which is really, really sweet. But that's using a chain stitch with a dining needle. So that's worth a watch as well. I'll see you there.